In this video, I'm going to tell you what a normal blood pressure reading is. Surprisingly, it's not 120 over 80 like everyone thinks. You're going to be totally surprised when you find out what blood pressure range 120 over 80 really is. Welcome to my channel. For more blood pressure videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. In 2017, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association issued new guidelines that redefined blood pressure readings. A whole heck of a lot of people, about 31 million, had their blood pressure diagnosis changed overnight like this. Many people who had normal blood pressure were now considered to have high blood pressure. Many of the public has good reason to believe believe that this all has to do with big pharmaceuticals and putting people on more medication. But the powers that be claim that's not what this is about. They say when you look at the numbers, not many more people will actually be advised to take medications than before. And the new guidelines are meant to detect blood pressure problems and cardiovascular disease sooner. So let's take a look at what normal blood pressure is today. The normal blood pressure category is a systolic or upper number less than 120 and a diastolic number less than 80, which means that your blood pressure reading would have to be 119 over 79 or lower to fall into the normal blood pressure range. So what blood pressure range does a reading of 120 over 80 place you? Many of you might be guessing it's the next category above normal, which is elevated, but 120 over 80 is not even considered elevated. An elevated reading is a systolic number between 120 and 129, and a diastolic number less than 80. A reading of 120 over 80 falls into the next category above elevated, which is high blood pressure stage 1. This would be due to the diastolic number of 80 falling into the 80 to 89 range of high blood pressure stage 1. So, if you thought 120 over 80 was normal, surprise, surprise, and bear in mind that in order to be considered to have high blood pressure, your readings need to be consistently in that range, and only a doctor can give you a diagnosis of high blood pressure. If you found value in the video, click the thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe here. But more important, stay healthy and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.